all right guys hi welcome to another video in today's video we are doing a full face of new products that i have purchased here and there i just wanted to mix all the products together to see how they look together and this was the look i was able to achieve so if you want to see how i got this look the products i used and all of that make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys All right, guys, let's do a face full of new products today. The newest primer that I've been using is my e.l.f. Booster Drops. It is a really like a serum, like a hydration serum, but I've been using it as a primer. If you've been watching my videos, then you know I cut my finger last night. And now I've got a band-aid on. But rub it in my hand and then... But it's not necessarily like a jelly, it's more like a serum, and it's very moisturizing. So if you have dry skin, you will absolutely love this. I don't have dry skin, I have combo all the skin, but I love for my skin to be hydrated, and I love this. I think it's like, that right there is like a sample bottle, but I think it's like not over $10 for the regular so you can get it from my like Target, Ulta, Walmart. Elf skincare has already always been spot on. Like they know. Let me move this microphone. They know how to get skincare right. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Elf cookies and dream. <laughs> I just have to. <laughs> uh, I keep checking Walmart site daily to see if they restock this. I see the e.l.f. Uh, what do you call it? Pop. Jelly Pop Primer is finally in stock at Ulta. You know, they brought that back. So I'm hoping they will bring this back. I guess not a lot of people are talking about it. But I so prefer that over the regular putty primer. I don't know what they did different between the two. But I love it. Okay, and then take some of my new e.l.f. Color, color Corrector Eye Primer in Tan to Deep. Like, I believe I love e.l.f. as a base. I love e.l.f. as a base. I still haven't found that foundation. One of my buddies wanted me to try the e.l.f. foundation, you know, the older one. But every time I go into Walmart and Target, they don't ever have my shade. The shades are always light. And I'm scared to, to try it online because I might get the wrong shade. So I want to try it. I know my Walgreens and CVS sometimes has some Carrie's Elf products. And I'm just taking my ring finger. And lightly patting it underneath the eye. And this is supposed to like conceal any darkness. Help with discoloration over time. And it's been doing just that. I have a little darkness issues underneath the eyes. And it's really been helping. Like a really, really been helping. So I'm going to let that sit. I don't have any new eye shadow or anything. So I'm going to just use what's sitting on my desk, which is that Physician Formula that I used the other day. Let me take a little bit of whatever concealer, this e.l.f. Matte Concealer in Deep Olive, and that's what I'll base my lids with. Just taking the brown shade and putting it directly in my crease. with a square brush. Put 
put it in all over my crease. Yep, get a blending brush, blend out the edges, blend it up into the transition part. So even though I didn't put any color in my transition area, the color is still going to be, you know, spread along there once I get the blending, as you can see. You see a little bit? I keep picking up this brush and I told y'all I don't like this brush. <laughs> keep picking it up. You would think I will move it out the jar. Okay, what shade can we use for the lid shade? I'm going to just take this one right next to the orange, that kind of glitter gold shade. Y'all know that's my go-to. Yep. This is really buttery. This is a really buttery palette. Simple everyday eyes. Yep. And the brown is not as harsh, or not harsh, but not as strong as I normally wear my browns, but that's okay. So we just make it real soft, like. And I'm not going to put any liner on the top, because, you know, liner sometimes can make a look bold. Not all the time, but sometimes a liner can, especially a black liner. And make it look a little bold. And we just want something really soft and soft. <laughs> yeah. So that's enough for the shadow. For foundation. It's going to have to be. And today I'm going to do the olive shade. Well, I'm going to try to mix it today. And see what I come up with. The about face. Um, foundations I have oh can't see Lana I know it's on the top well, I thought it was on the top maybe it's on the top of the box no no uh, d2 olive and d1 neutral we're gonna try to mix the two I have already did videos using these separately on their own so check that out the olive the undertone is good it's a little dark, but the undertone is good, but I still can work with it. I wore it to church, and I was fine, so no issues there. I just want to mix it. Y'all know I'm a mixer. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nana, and I love to mix products. It doesn't matter. what It could be concealer. It could be primer. It could be lipstick. It could be eyeshadow. It could be foundation. I love to mix stuff. I get joy out of mixing products. <laughs> then we'll take our brush and just blend it away. I hope y'all can see me because I feel like I'm fading into the background today. Don't go up under the eyes as much because you know we put concealer there and 
we don't want to be have a lot of product underneath the eye but this foundation is so natural right now I look a little glow 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 <laughs> I like like I look like a little glow but once it calms down it is so natural Y'all can see it. I like a little shiny now. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> a lot of that has to do with the e.l.f. booster drops. I'm sure if you're not like a, I'm going to go with the olive around the mouth area. If you're like a not dewy type girl, then you can go in with a matte primer and it will be fine. I saw someone do a review on this foundation and they were saying that it was a water base. So they used like a water base primer, which was the e.l.f. Hydro Grip. But I didn't never get into the specifics of makeup like that, like water on water, gel on gel. They never, because... Whatever I buy already has to work with my Cookies and Dream or like my e.l.f. Booster Drops. Like I'm not going to use a Pacific Primer for a Pacific Foundation. Like all of my foundations have to work with the one primer that I love. Because I'm going to use the primer. The trick is, am I going to use the foundation? Let's take a little bit of this Essence Keep Me Covered. It's not new. It's new in my stash since I pulled it back out. It's in... Golden tan. Y'all probably will see this until I finish it. And let that sit for a minute, and I'll be right back. In the meantime, let's take a little bit of the Thread Beauty 210. Not new. Just haven't been contouring and stuff as much as I used to. If I do contour, it's only with the powder. I haven't really been using the cream like that. I do my brush upside down so that way I know I'm blending up. And this concealer, I don't have to rush to blend. I see, I was on Alta's website and I see that they have a lot of new products. But the products that they're saying that's new in the link that's for the new products, it's like old products. I don't know if they were just going through a website update or something. I was like, I've seen this before, like the Essence concealer, like the Essence uh, face powders. I don't know. Refresh. Now, with the sponge. Now. 
and some of the e.l.f. 16 hour and olive. I've been mixing the essence and the e.l.f. together. The e.l.f. is just a little brighter. It offers just a hair bit of more coverage. Sometimes I like to mix. You see, yeah. And I went back to my KVD loose powder. That's what I'm gonna use today to set everything. I get powder everywhere. The good thing about this triangle sponge is the little tip part. Like you can really get underneath your eye and into the creases to set. That's the good thing about that triangle sponge. And this is the KVD powder I used for anyone who hasn't seen it before. Okay, I'll be back. We got this Elf Camo Blush and Coral Rose. Haven't really picked this up since I um, purchased it and talked about it. Don't know why. This is a lighter coverage type for a Lush. It looks pigmented right now, but... You'll see once I get to blending, it's barely there, but it's enough for me. You see it <laughs> or you don't. <laughs> you see it or you don't. Yeah, that's just enough blush for me. And then... some of my Morphe 8D face palette. Take that shade to contour with to set the cream. I think I would love this blush so much more if it was a matte, but it has that kind of dewiness to it. I don't know. All right, I'm going to go grab me some lashes, put some lashes on, and then we'll come back. Okay, let's take a little bit of the KVD and set the remainder of the face.
especially the blush part. <laughs> yes, that thing is dewy. I can see like this being really pretty, like in the hotter months, especially if we want that glow, like a beach day type of look. But I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And my favorite new lip combination, Mac Chestnut Lip Liner to line the lips with. And a little bit of this Ruby Kisses Velvet Lip Cream and Velvet Matte Lip Cream. I get it from Sam's Beauty in number six in the center. Just a little bit. And then my Morphe Gloss in Naked Drip. I can find it. I mean, you know I just used it yesterday. So it's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, let me find it. The lip cream and the lip gloss is the same color. But the cream allow... Uh -uh. <laughs> allows you to have a, a more lasting power of your lip look. Go back with your lip liner because we don't want to look like we've just been eating donuts all morning. Uh -huh. And before we even get to work. Yep. Now, get your brush, brush away the powder. And spray with our Milani Make It Last setting spray. And that's it. I'll get dressed and I'll be back. All right, guys. I am dressed and ready to go. And this is the look using some new products that I purchased recently. Love, 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 love the foundation make sure you check out my initial reviews on both shades but i love this new about face foundation love it the elf booster drops you all know that i've been using that recently yeah, i'm right here now i'm right here so i only got a little bit left i need to purchase a bigger one the elf color corrector for underneath the eyes love that and i'm not a big color corrector person because I really don't like my foundation and the concealers to turn orange or really like warm but this does neither of that so that's why I love that and that was all I used that was new huh <laughs> and my favorite lip combination y'all know I love a good nude and this is giving me just a nude that I need and very simple eyes my face is I always do simple looks. I don't know why I always say it's very simple. I always do easy, simple looks. But yeah, this is the everyday look. Let's see, I put, put my chair on. Using the new products. And I think we have a winner with these products. Drop down and let me know if you purchase any of these products. If you plan to pick them up, I'm always interested. And if you purchase the foundation, what shade did you get?
All right, I will talk to you later. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'm out of here. Bye, guys.